What's up everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm gonna to show you how I clean my filter socks. And these are homemade filter socks, which is why there's such a big difference in their size. And it's because when I make them, I don't really use a template or whatever, or whatever. I just sort of just make them. Um, so long as the diameter is about the same, they'll still fit in my filter sock holder. Um, and these are just made out of um, like hypo hypoallergenic or like organic or whatever uh, felt that I got from like Michaels or something like that. And uh, it's super easy. You can find the pattern for them online. Uh, <clears throat> so when I clean them, all I do is I take them out of my sump, bring them back here on my patio, use a nozzle like this, which you can get just about anywhere. Uh, I found that the best setting is, I want to say flat, let's see. Yep, flat. So all I do, and you'll be able to see the difference is I just spray them down, flip them over, spray it down, and I turn it inside out. And when I turn it inside out, you'll be able to see a bigger difference in uh, how it looks when they're clean. And then after that's done, I bring them out and I bring them in here to dry in my bathroom for about a day or so. Um, the most important thing is if you're going to uh, rinse them using tap water like I do, I have chlorine in my water because I'm on city water. So the most important thing is that you just let these dry um, or you give them a sufficient amount of time to dry so that way the chlorine can uh, evaporate off of here. And uh, usually, you know, uh, I only change out my filter sock uh, about every week or so, um, maybe a little bit longer. So these will be drying for quite a while before they go back uh, into my sump, just because I have a whole bunch of these that I switch out. So, and then obviously, you know, if you are going to rinse them out on your patio, um, you just want to make sure that it's it's pretty clean out there. Um, like, you know, there's not a lot of foot traffic on my patio, so it stays clean. And uh, you know, I just make sure that there's no dirt or your rocks or whatever, you know, just anything from outside going in your tank. And like I said, I do um, rinse them off pretty well. I wring them out and then they dry for at least a couple weeks before they, they go back into uh, my sump. So that's all I got. Um, this is super easy. Uh, like I said, if you go to Google and you search DIY filter sock, a uh, thread will come up on Reef to Reef showing how to make these. They're pretty much like a uh, like a Christmas stocking, just not cut into like a, you know, the, the J shape. They're really easy and you can make like 10 of these for a couple dollars and they last a really long time. Or if you feel like it, you can just throw them out. Um, but I choose to reuse them. So that's all I got today, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.